Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we're gonna to be making queso fundido with chorizo, but we're gonna make it out on the smoker. Queso fundido with chorizo is one of my favorite dishes to be able to get at a local Mexican restaurant. Now there's a bunch of different ways to make this, but what we're going to do is we're going to show you our favorite way to make it here at the barbecue lab. And we're going to use these lovely ingredients here and we're going to kick it up a notch. Instead of just making it on a skillet on the stove or in the oven, we're going to make this on the smoker outside. And we're also, instead of just sauteing our vegetables, we're gonna take them and we're gonna actually put them out on the smoker and on the grill and get some grill flavor on them before we even chop them up to get inside. So let's take a look at what we have what we're work with here. Is we picked up about 10 ounces of chorizo at our local market. And this 10 ounces of chorizo is super tasty. It's the kind that we use all the time. And we're gonna incorporate that into the, into the dish. We also have a poblano pepper. And the poblano pepper is a mild pepper, but it has a distinct flavor and it's perfect for this, this recipe. But we also want a little bit of heat in this recipe as well. So we also picked up a large jalapeno. This large jalapeno is something that we're gonna grill. We're also gonna take this and chop it up really fine, put it into the dip as well. And then we're gonna take about probably between a third and a half of an onion. And we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves some slices of onion. And the whole idea is we're gonna put these slices of onion on the grill and actually get some grill marks and grill flavor on them. So we're gonna add some grill flavor to this dish and not just something that we're sauteing on the top of the oven. So this is really what we're, what we're going after today is a smoked grilled recipe and not just one that you would traditionally make inside the kitchen. But this is perfect for a game day. This is the kind of thing that if you're gonna be going out and you're gonna be doing some game day food, consider this one. This one's a tried and true winner. But we also have two types of cheeses. We have queso chihuahua cheese. And we also have queso quesadilla cheese. And we have six to eight ounces of both. And what we're gonna do is mix those together. Then we have the, the benefits of two types of cheeses coming together. That's gonna to make some melty, melty goodness. All right, so we've got our vegetables out here at the grill. We have the poblano, the jalapeno, and the onion. And we've sprayed it down with some olive oil. And the goal is just to make the skin nice and crispy on the outside so we can actually pull that skin off without having it in the dish because it's kind of chewy, it's not delicious. Our goal is to get that skin nice and crisp and get some really good flavor on. So we're going to stick this right on the grate, right on the grill, and get it cooked off. All right, so we've had the vegetables on and we have charred the outsides. They're going to be amazing to actually pull the skin off. Look at these. We can pull the skin off of that super easy. Nice, lovely char on these onions. Some might look at it and go, oh, those are burned. You know what? That's the char I want in this queso fundido. Now, before we do anything else, we gotta get these in the paper bag so we can pull the skins off, let them steam the skins off just a little bit. We're gonna go do that right now. All right, so we've got the veggies off the grill and we've taken our poblano and our jalapeno, we put them in this, pla this paper bag. But the whole idea we wanted to steam those skins off a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out of the bag. And you see the outside of that skin is just nice and crispy. It's really easy for us just to kind of pull off the outside. Now, we wanna do that because this stuff is like, almost like wax paper. It's not great to put into a queso fundido. So we're gonna just take this off and peel off all the skin. Then we'll keep going. All right, so we pulled our poblano and our jalapeno out of the bag and we've actually peeled off that skin on the outside because it just turns out papery and almost wax papery. It's not really good to eat, especially once you've roasted it and charred it. Now, the thing is you still have some really, really nice char flavor and some char look on the outside of these, but the poblano and the jalapeno, they're ready to be cut up, chopped up. And we like to call this a fine dice. We actually make a really small dice out of these. The same thing with the onion. And we're gonna chop these up. We're gonna add them to our chorizo that's already in the cast iron pan. And then we're gonna add the cheese and get this out on the smoker.
So we have the jalapeno, the poblano, and the onions all diced up. And we're just gonna add them here to our chorizo, which is actually already in our cast iron skillet. And the idea is we wanna add this in, we're gonna add the cheese in, and we're gonna get this out on the smoker and turn this queso fundido into a smoked grilled queso fundido. We just look at the color that we've got on those vegetables. Man, that's, that's what's gonna take this, this dish over the edge to what we're gonna see next. So we've got all of our vegetables in here. Now we're just gonna add our cheese, mix it all up, and get this out on the grill. We have two types of cheese. We said there was queso quesadilla, which is this, and we also have some queso chihuahua cheese. And the idea that I really like here is that you're getting the different textures and the different flavors that each of these cheeses has to offer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add these cheeses in, and as we do that, all we need to do is mix this mixture up, and then we're gonna get it out on the smoker on some smoke and melt this together, get that awesome flavor of pecan wood on the smoker into this cheese dip and it's gonna be delicious. So we have our queso fundido, it's ready to go out on the smoker and we're running our Kamado today at about 400 degrees with some pecan wood in there to give us a little bit of smoke. So we're gonna let this roll for about 10 or 15 minutes on the grill, let it get really infused with some nice smoky goodness and we'll come back and check on it here in just a minute. So the queso fundido has actually been on the smoker for right around 10 or 11 minutes. And I wanted to give you a look at what it's gonna look like when it's about, oh, say halfway or so done. So let's take a look. See how the meltiness is coming together? It's starting to look all nice and bubbly, but it's not bubbly throughout yet. We wanna get that bubbly throughout. So we're gonna go ahead and shut the smoker. And I'd say probably another five or six minutes, we'll come back out. It'll be completely melted, ready to go. All right, so the queso fundido has been in there about 15, 16 minutes. Look at the bubbling up, it's coming up all over. Nice golden edges on the side. This is ready to come off. This is gonna be some delicious eats. So we're gonna grab this, take this inside, and we're gonna let it rest for a second because this is molten lava hot. All right, we have our queso fundido that's actually rested for about 10 or 15 minutes after coming off the grill because you know that's gonna be crazy hot. But while the grill was hot, we went ahead and took our tortillas. We put them on the grill and got a little bit of grill mark, grill flavor on them. And I don't know how you like your queso fundido, but all I do is I'll take one of these tortillas, I'll kind of take it, tear it in half. And all I'm gonna do is get a little bit of this queso, stick it right here in the middle of a tortilla and go in for a bite. Now, here's the thing. Even just holding this, I can tell you, this is gonna light me up. This is gonna be so hot. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, a smarter person probably would have waited another 10 minutes or so before, before taking that and putting it in their mouth. But I gotta tell you, it has some good heat to it. Those poblanos and that jalapeno that are on there, that tastes good. And this cheese is super melty and delicious. This is one, if you haven't ever tried making queso fundido yourself, it's even better when you put it on the smoker because there, you can taste the smoke flavor in this dip unlike what you would have if you just threw it in the oven. So here's my challenge to you. I want you to go out for your next game day. I want you to make queso fundido, throw it out on the grill, throw it out on the smoker, and make this for your friends, make this for your neighbors, and show them that you are winning your weekend, that you're the master of your backyard. Now, here at the Barbecue Lab, we do this to help you. We do this, we share our recipes and show you our techniques so you can be a better neighbor, better friend, better family member by helping bring the family, bring people together around great food. So if you like what you saw today, go ahead and take the, take the time to subscribe to our channel. Ring that bell so you have the notifications so that when we put out a new video, you'll know right away. Because the whole idea, I'm gonna make you better at what you do when you're in the backyard with the grill, with the smoker, all those things. Thanks so much for joining us right here on the Barbecue Lab. I'm David, and I look forward to seeing you next time.